Hello and welcome to this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Frank Poole, and today we're going to talk about all things green and recycling with the Suffolk Clean Community Commission. And we're certainly going to talk about those things that are recyclable and those that aren't, and certainly that Earth Day is not just one day, but a year-round effort that involves you at home. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Frank Poulin. Today, we're gonna to talk about all things green and recycling. We're here today with Wayne Jones, Litter Control Coordinator for the City of Suffolk, and Kathy Russell, Chairperson of the Suffolk Clean Community Commission. Hello, you both. Thanks for joining Hello. me. Hello. Now, now, let's talk a little bit, first off, about the Suffolk Clean Community Commission itself, because I don't think a lot of people understand maybe what it is or how it kind of works with kind of the city of Suffolk, TFC Recycling, because I know you both separately, you work for the city, you work for TFC Recycling, yes. but you come together for the commission, correct? Yeah. Can you explain kind of how that works and what the commission is and what it's comprised of and what you all do? Sure. Um, well, the Suffolk Clean Community Commission, uh, the SCCC, mm -hmm. as we refer to it, uh, it's rather a mouthful, um, but yes, yeah, it uh, consists of eight commissioners okay. and um, four executive board members mm -hmm. of Keep Suffolk Beautiful. Okay. The commission itself is um, an affiliate of Keep America Beautiful, okay. which is the national non um, nonprofit organization that's um, nationwide. Okay. Um, and we're and in Suffolk. We're an affiliate of that. Um, so we have the eight commissioners and the four board four board members. Okay. And its mandate is kind of exactly how it sounds. Keep yeah. America Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. And um, Kathy here is our chairperson of the commission. And how long have you been in that role? Six years. Oh wow. Okay. Um, Dr. Barnett, who was a dentist here in Suffolk forever, mm -hmm. um, he died during his term, and so I kind of took the place. At TFC, we have to give about um, eight hours of community service per month. Oh, really? And so why not doing it in my hometown? Yeah. So, and working for TFC and being environmentally friendly, mm -hmm. I thought it would be a great commission for me to be on. Okay, and how have you kind of seen it change, I guess, over the years, or have you, or, or w w what um, projects well, have you taken on? I think we're a little bit busier than okay. we were when we first started. Um, we do recycling events, um, mm -hmm. which are, we do shredding of confidential documents. We do tire amnesty, which that's a huge thing for Suffolk. Mm -hmm. um, we do um, uh, battery recycling, which we didn't do before when we started. Mm -hmm. oh, really? And yeah. we do regular recycling for things um, that I guess you have too much of it and you can take it to our events and you can get rid of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah the recycling events, uh, we have two um, every year at the moment. Okay. Uh, they're very popular, yep. Um, and like Kathy says, it's shred it. Um, you know, with identity theft and everything, it's a really mm -hmm. good service, yeah, it's absolutely. free, you know, so if anybody's interested in bringing out their documents to be shredded or mm -hmm. anything important like that, um, they're welcome to come out um, for the recycling drive. Absolutely. Now I know that, you know, kind of green and being green and mm -hmm. recycling and everything else is, has certainly had a transformative period in both America, locally, and, sure. and nationally. Because before it used to be, you know, people just threw stuff away and, and now it's kind of almost a movement yeah. that's been kind of created. How have you seen that movement kind of increase here in Suffolk? Um, we're definitely getting a lot more interest. Oh, yeah, um, okay. yeah people, um, in regards to recycling, mm -hmm. um, I think the f that the city now has rolled out its um, recycling containers okay. over the last few years. Yeah. It's definitely created awareness there of recycling more. Um, our schools, I've found a lot of teachers um, are pushing for more recycling mm -hmm. in Suffolk public schools. Um, it's easy to do. It's yeah, small it's not stuff complicated. that kind of yeah. adds up, right? Yeah. I think a lot of people are confused by what they can and can't recycle. Mm -hmm. um, that's certainly an issue there that um, we'd like to help with in terms of educating. Okay. Um, you know, just letting let people know what you can and can't recycle, mm -hmm. you know, because you've got plastics and yeah. there's, you know, the triangles on the plastic bottles. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah. You know, you have to look for them and yeah. is it a one or a two, a five or a six? Yeah. And people just don't know. And, you know, here you can recycle ones and twos, mm. but you can't five and sixes. Hmm. Um, so it gets kind of complicated. And what, what, what's the difference between that? For, for a layperson, um, I'm hearing one, twos, five, six. I don't I, exactly I, I, know I, the science okay, behind okay. it. But <laughs> well, what it is, is the triangle at the bottom says mm -hmm. the number. On that triangle says, yes, it can be recycled, okay. but it says the number of the recycling. Well, ones and twos are something that we can find a market for. Okay. In this local area, we can we can send it to like- Turn around and resell? Is absolutely, okay. absolutely. For instance, three water bottles makes a square foot of carpet. Hmm. Or um, you know, but plastics ones through two, one, one it's a square two, foot of actual carpet. Yes, a oh, square wow, foot that, of actual carpet. I did not know. But that. anyway, but then you've got your fives, which are yogurt containers or butter tubs. They have food saturation. They're a softer plastic, and nobody really wants to make anything out of it. But the one thing that I could say is, in Suffolk, we have 
the recycle bins for single stream. Mm -hmm. It has embossed label on it. And if you just follow the instructions, these are what we take. Mm -hmm. We take bottles. We take aluminum cans. We take metal cans. We take paper. We take cardboard. Just follow those instructions. Okay. You got it. Yeah. So it's almost on every item, there's directions right. almost for, yes. for you yes. to say whether or not you recycle. Yes. And everything we do, um, we try to reinforce that when we're working with, um, when we go to visit the uh, schools. And oh, okay. Yeah, we talk with the so kids. Is it, so is that part of the commissions? It, yes, yeah, we do outreach, yes. Um, so, um, for example, it wasn't actually in schools, but last, last year we had America Recycles Day. Okay. Um, and that's another program run by Keep America Beautiful mm -hmm. and being a Affiliate. affiliate, we yeah. do our part here in Suffolk. Um, we had a plastic bag drive, okay. um, and as part of that, we got people to bring in their plastic bags, and um, we supported one of our local schools because some of the kids were making mats for the homeless. Oh wow! Um, taking the plastic bags and weaving them into mats, which was a kind actual of actual cool plastic project. bags into yeah. mats. Yeah, yeah, they turned oh, wow. it. Well, um, they turned it in something they call plan, like yarn. Yeah. Um, basically, a ball of plastic, okay. and then they crocheted it, weaved it into these mats, and they gave them to the homeless. Oh and wow! That was a way for the commission, Keep Suffolk Beautiful um, and the commission, to support the schools, promote recycling, um, and get the community involved. And at these events, we, we, the education part of mm -hmm. it is reinforcing what you can and can't recycle. Okay. So it's just to make... But, using that, um, plastic bags are not something we put in the recycle bin. Okay. Why is oh. that? Because it wraps around our machinery, and we literally have to cut it out mm. every single shift. Okay. But yet, it's got a great source to take it to something like this for the schools mm -hmm. yeah. to make something out of it. Recycling is repurposing as well. So, very good. Yeah. plastic bags. If you, if I had my way, we would ban them because huh. they're so bad for the environment. Well, and you get so many of them. Yeah. And I was at Harris Teeter last night and had yeah. four bags as soon as I got home with <laughs> ten items. Right. So I don't mean to make you angry, True. but <laughs> <laughs> you would make me angry. I chucked them in the trash, but. But yeah. no, but, but the good thing about that is, is if you do take them, take them back to what I call a green grocery store, mm -hmm. the Harris Teeters, yeah. which we don't have those in Suffolk. I think we have one, maybe. Yeah. All right, and, but the farm freshes. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a school recycling program for plastic bags, which we encourage, okay. um, just collect plastic bags, take them back to farm fresh, where they make composite decking boards. What, what is that exactly? You know, like the decks on the back of your house, you have a oh, deck. Oh, yeah, yeah. And okay. it's plastic. Mm -hmm. The first ingredient for that is the plastic bag. Yeah. Hmm. But yet it can't go in my recycling bin at your house because it messes up the machinery. Okay. But it is a very recyclable um, item. It's amazing. It yeah. is. It is really cool. They make these composite decking boards. Um, they make benches out of them. Um, and, yeah, and the decking is really neat. And the plastic bags are, you know, a primary source for oh, that. Oh, wow. Um, and to keep them out of the environment, because uh, nobody likes to see plastic bags hanging in trees. Floating and around, yeah. Yeah, in the oceans. Um. There's one on 58 right now that's driving me crazy. It's on the side of the road just hanging. It's been there for weeks. Off a tree or wherever. Yes, yeah, but yeah. I mean, it is a very recyclable item, mm -hmm. but it also needs to be protected almost because we have, s they're so bad. I mean, as soon as it gets into the water stream, it does what we call photo degrading. It just starts sloughing off. Hmm. And that goes from our ditches, goes to the goes creek. deteriorating into Absolutely. the water supply. It goes to the yeah. creek, it goes to the river, it goes to the Chesapeake Bay, it goes to the ocean. Mm. It's bad for, our, you know, for the water system. Yeah. It's bad for our sea, sea life. life. Yeah. It is. And so we, we're, we're here with a commission to help educate. Yeah. So as part of that is going out into the schools Absolutely. and definitely getting them at a young age. Yeah. Because I know at my age I may be, you know, a, a lost cause at this point. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I know certainly starting them at such a young age and yeah. teaching them about this sure, stuff the so they know it. Yeah, they know important. it going as they progress in years. Absolutely. Yeah. In this way they can also, you know, help their household. Say, hey, mom, those plastic bags. That's FYI. the key part. Yeah, yeah. That's, they, they reinforce it at home. Yeah. Um, and before you know it, you know, the little kids. Then yeah, they but a reverse learning. Exactly, yeah. 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 But not only our commission is about recycling, mm -hmm. which is very important to me because yes. I work for the recycling company, but it's about litter. Mm -hmm. It's about um, being a good steward of the earth. It's about beautification. Okay. You yep. need those plants. To green make spaces. Take in, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so that's what our commission is about. Mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome. And that's what Keep America Beautiful focuses on. The three things is uh, litter prevention, mm -hmm. increasing recycling, okay. and city beauti or beautification, in our okay. case, city and rural beautification. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, recycling is part of what we do. Okay. Um, but that's but only a small subset of absolutely. the overall. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of what we do is litter prevention. Um, we organize community cleanups. Right now, actually, we're in the midst of what they call the Great American Cleanup, okay. which is uh, Keep America Beautiful's biggest program. Mm -hmm. It launches it every spring. Uh, we started here on March 12th, and okay. we'll run all the way up to the 4th of June, which happens oh, wow. to be Clean the Bay Day. So we like to end on Clean the Bay Day. Okay. 
Um, so it's a, it's a window of time, and it's okay. really just to remind people. Mm -hmm. um, to no, 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 is that like an organized effort, or is it? It is, it is. Okay. okay. Yep, yep, we've got many things going on, actually, um, as part of the Great American Cleanup. One part is the community cleanup. So we've already had a couple of those um, groups, um, HOAs, um, housing associations, okay, yeah. that is. Um, they contact us, they say, hey, we want to do a cleanup in our community. Um, you know, what can you do to help? And yeah. we provide them with equipment okay. and we pick up the, the bags when they're finished and Got all it. the tires and the mattresses and whatever else they might find. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's the community cleanup side of it, mm -hmm. keeping our streets nice and clean. Um, obviously that has a nice, you know, value. Um, yeah, you know, we all like to yeah. live in a clean community. It's good for business, good for tourism, and it just, you know, it's good for the world. And sometimes it happens naturally without even kind of yeah. being an organized effort. Absolutely. But if they want to be organized, yes. they can yeah, kind of contact you support. guys and mm -hmm. you guys can support them. Absolutely. They can contact anybody at the commission okay. or they can email um, litter control or contact the litter control in public works. And okay. um, we can certainly put them in touch um, with any other volunteers that would be interested in helping. Okay. So that's the community cleanup side of things. Um, and then we also do beautification efforts. So on Earth okay. Day, um, Earth Day this year, the commission wanted to do a beautification project. Um, so we're going to install a butterfly garden oh. at Bennett's Creek Park, um, partly as a beautification and also in terms of conservation. Um, okay. I didn't know if you know about the monarch butterfly, but it's... I've, I've been reading a bit about that in the yeah, paper. It's yeah, it's struggling. It's an amazing... Um, insect it makes yeah. this huge migration every year but anyway the numbers are down um for for many reasons but um so we wanted to do, do a beautification project and we're going to install a butterfly garden w w where are you exactly installing that um that'll be at bennett's creek park okay. on april 23rd yep we're about to release the details um of the opening oh excellent and we're working with the virginia butterfly association and the suffolk master gardeners okay. to install it um the suffolk master gardeners have kindly taken it on to maintain okay um and it's going to be a place where um you can learn about which plants help support certain butterflies and oh. conservation in general okay um just to get the conversation going uh, yeah absolutely. and a place to do outreach yeah. but the library's going to join us okay. um yeah they're going to be out there with a um, pop-up library Okay. Um, and we're going to have arts and crafts. Um, we're going to have some it's kind of a very festive tickets. kind of. Yeah, we're hoping people come out. Kick off to the butterfly. Yeah, the only problem with it is obviously in April the flowers aren't going to be blooming. And ah, it's, okay. But if you want to be there at the beginning yeah. of the garden, yeah, the you start, can watch yeah. it. Yeah, you can watch it. Um, so it's going to be a community garden as well. It's 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 for the community. Okay. Yeah, okay. I mean we're going to maintain uh, the Suffolk Master um, Gardeners will maintain it. Okay. But um, it's for the community, and okay. it's, it's for parents to teach, you know, their children yeah. about their conservation. Um, so, so, so then that's something you guys do a lot. Then is partner with other organizations, oh, like yeah. master gardeners, libraries. Absolutely. How do all the kind of organizations work together to get that word out? Um, how do we work together? They it varies really. Yeah. It's quite a lot of grassroots okay. uh, kind of spontaneous, mm -hmm. you know, spontaneous. Um, efforts. Um, another example of what we're doing for the Great American Cleanup, working with another organization is the Virginia Master Naturalists. Okay. They, um, they have a program, a recycling program, where they install fishing line receptacles. You may have seen these at some of the it's fishing really cool. hotspots. It is pretty cool. It's really simple too. It's basically a PVC pipe. Okay. And at the end of the day, um, you put in your old line or any sinkers or hooks or things that you don't need and you want to get rid of. And we're trying to keep all that, that you know, that debris out yeah. of the rivers and um, cool. our oceans. So that is cool. um, that's another example of how we collaborate, and that's with the Virginia Master Naturalists. And okay. we're about to install um, another one at the new fishing pier okay. at Sleepy Hole. Um, um, that's going to be another fishing hotspot in town. Okay. So we're going to put in one of those there, and that yeah. will happen um, over the next few weeks. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, so that's another example of um, what the commission does to support okay. um, uh, support the community. And you also have, have targeted days where kind of you, you just have recycling days where people come to you guys. Yes. Because right. you mentioned earlier, I believe, tire amnesty. Yeah. Which is oh, tires are a huge thing. Oh, we, okay. ju we just did a cleanup this weekend, um, my group for the Great American Cleanup. And in our rural area, within a mile, we, we about 17 tires. Oof. People yeah, just sling them. Yeah. You know, just roll them off into right. the... Right. We collect, what, tires up to 22 inches, I believe. Wow. Yes, that's right, yeah. And so they have to be passenger tires, of course. Okay. But, um, you know, there Not was... tractor a, tires. Right? No, uh, no, no. nothing that big. <laughs> but <laughs> because, like, I live in the rural area, White Marsh, and it's so rural that just people dump them at the bridges or whatever. And um, it's, a, it's about teaching. It's about yeah, yeah. And making sure they understand that we have this amnesty. You can come to it twice a year, mm -hmm. um, resident, residents of the yeah. city of Suffolk. It's at Lowe's, right, in Parkinson? Oh, yes, yes, it's yeah. April 16th from 10 to 2 okay. um, at the Lowe's in downtown. 
Um, yep, come along. Um, I know there's a long list of kind of stuff. Yeah. Your tires being one of them, tires. batteries, as we mentioned. Mm -hmm. Bring your batteries, tires, um, shredded are there, are those all types of ba computer batteries, Duracells, or is there like a limit on? Uh, you can bring all your household batteries. In okay. fact, we have a battery program that runs all year long anyway, right. and you yeah. can find the battery boxes where you can drop your batteries off at Farm Freshes oh. or mainly at our libraries too, okay. and the um, Sixth Street um, Recreation Okay, East um, Suffolk Recreation Center. Thank you, yeah, yeah the East Suffolk Recreation Center. Um, so we have these boxes going on all year long anyway, but at the recycling drive, you can bring them there too. Um, car batteries also, um, and we will... Car batteries are we will recycled. Recycle. You can, mm -hmm. We oh, can wow. pass them on to oh. um, other businesses and they, they recycle yeah. them. Um, but yeah, so Goodwill will be there, okay. TFC will be there, Shred it will be there. And this year we're actually pleased to announce that we're going to have the food bank there this year, really? the Southeast Food Bank. Okay, that's great. Yeah, it seemed like a good partnership. Yeah. Um, they struggle this time of year for donations because imagine, of the holiday yeah. season's yeah. over. Um, so we thought that would be a good partnership. Um, so please, you know, if, if anybody's interested, um, I think it's a great a idea. Yeah, it's awesome. yeah, a donation. Yeah. It doesn't have to be money. It can mm -hmm. be, you know, canned food and everything. Um, and they can find more information about that on the okay. city website under Public Works Litter Control. And you also said, like, uh, uh, I believe Shreddit will be there yes. as well. Yes. Yeah, Shreddit's yeah. very popular, um, sure. and it's been become more and more popular yeah. over the years, especially with identity. Mail, they, they exactly. Not sure, people want to throw them out in the trash, or yeah. they want to actually yeah. shred it. Yeah, instead. and people are more conscious of of keeping their information, um, you know, uh, protected. Absolutely. And that's yeah. that's you know, and it's and it's it's free. Um, it's a service to the people. Yeah. Now you mentioned you run this about twice a year. Yeah. Yes. These targeted kind of. Yep. We'll have another days. one in September. Okay. Uh, we haven't quite announced the date for that one, but this one is definitely April 16th okay. at Lowe's downtown. The, the, the amount of people, you know, participating grow kind of each time. Yeah. 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 And yeah. we see our old faithfuls too. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yep. Too. But um, you know, and they understand that there's one of many recycle streams. Mm -hmm. Their their big blue can is not where you put everything. Yeah. You and don't put your yard debris, yeah. you don't put your, your clothes in there, and Goodwill's there to take clothes, okay. they're de yeah. there to take computers. Um, you know, the good thing about Goodwill is they partner with Dell Computer. Uh, yeah. cool. And so all those metals and things can yeah. be reused. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yes. Um, we don't take the big televisions that with the big tubes. Okay. The old, like the old, old school ones. one. Yeah. Right. We don't take those, but mostly everything else. And and Goodwill is an awesome partner for us. Well, well, well and then that's recycling too. I mean, it it's, is, it's just another it's form of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Recycling at its best. I mean, yeah. they'll take your old clothes. They'll take your, you know, and so yeah. that's a good thing. I got this shirt from Goodwill actually. There you go. Uh, you know what? That's <laughs> the <laughs> best form of recycling. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. And and another th and what you mentioned about the electronics, e-recycling, what they call e-recycling is growing. Um, okay. We have so many devices and, and computers. And they just get cheaper and cheaper and, and uh, yeah, they're flooded. And we're market, trying to yeah. keep those materials out of landfill, basically. Okay. So, and Goodwill is a great place to take that kind of stuff. Um, okay. Like Kathy says, they work with Dell and um, yeah. it's refurbed and put back in or it's recycled um, responsibly. Okay. Um, so that's, that's another growing part of the recycling. Um, and you said it's kind of like a product, you know, it kind of builds up as yeah. Great American Cleanup, yes. Recycle Days, and then you end with the Clean the Bay Day. Clean the Bay Day, yeah. Which which is a huge kind of effort yes. and endeavor, I imagine. Can oh, we talk about yeah. that a little bit? Yeah, so Clean the Bay Day is, is what it is. I mean, we, we, we organize groups of volunteers, okay. um, we sign them up. We clean the Bay Day organization, mm -hmm. um, and on the actual day, we go out and we just do massive cleanups. We have the scouts help us out. The scouts always take care of the parks for us. Okay. Um, Sleepy Hole, Lake Mead, mm -hmm. they've already signed up for this year. Have they? Yeah, right. they're, they're, our, you know, they're, they're, they're good workers, yeah. the scouts, yep. Um, and we'll have other community cleanups around our watersheds. Okay. Um, and when I say the watersheds, the watershed for the Chesapeake Bay. So okay. we'll be cleaning up along the Nansman River. Um, and other green spaces that the city has right of way to um, okay. that feeds in our, into our waterways. Yeah. And that will be part of um, a much wider orga um, organization, Norfolk, Chesapeake, everybody. Really? Okay, so yeah. it's kind of a... Absolutely. Everybody okay. takes part, yeah, um, and we all do our part. So we're always looking for volunteers. To okay. To, uh, and and they, again, contact your office yes, to, please, to yep. in order to Yep, participate. contact Litter Control. Um, and you can email or, or call us. It's on the Public Works um, part of the website for the okay. city. Um, or you can go via HR Green. Ask HR Green is okay. our regional regional effort. That's yeah. right. Yeah, um, and they they sort of like say regional. Um, so Suffolk, Norfolk, a partnership with yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might you might work in Suffolk, okay. um, but you live in Norfolk and you want to help out in Norfolk. Well, you know it's all part of Clean the Bay Day. Kind of a so get involved. Yeah, there that go, you and, can go and yeah, help out in Norfolk. With. Yep, we're okay. all working towards the same goal anyway. So. Yeah, and that's that's how we end the Great American Cleanup. So it begins in March. And it's a com community okay. cleanups. It's a big stops. recycling drive. It's it never really stops. Kind of effort. No. Yeah. It's more of a call to call to get yeah. people involved and Absolutely. engage. Yeah. Um, and, and kind of signpost yeah. to participate. Exactly. And, and yeah. Kind of a lifelong 
process yeah. of recycling. Yes, um, it, you know, we all do our part to yeah. keep our city clean. Um, but you know, if we could encourage anybody, you know, Earth Day is not just April 22nd. One day, yeah. <laughs> and it seems like, I know with, uh, with doing educational outreach, it's constant that everybody wants to do anything, everything in a April, yeah. but why not do it mm -hmm. all the time? Yeah. You know, and uh, I know Global Youth Service Day is another day yes. that um, I think that's around uh, our, our amnesty. Global Youth Services Day is actually at the same weekend. It's April 16th, um, okay. same weekend as the Recycle Drive. All right. um, and it, again, it's to encourage our younger um, members of the community okay. to get out and, and, and contribute and, and help keep us. So, our so, so it's a bunch of youth basically that they pick out a green space to kind of go exactly, out. Exactly. Yeah, it's up to them. They have um, they have their own sort of organizers, leaders, adults okay. that are responsible yeah. um, for helping them coordinate okay. everything. But they often contact the commission for uh, equipment and help with removing anything that they've collected. Okay. Um, and we help facilitate um, that side of things. So okay. we're there to support, the commission's there to support. Excellent. Um, and yeah, we're more than happy to help our young, our young people um, help clean up. And uh, um, as an example of, um, of our younger crowd, yeah. it's um, the teen advisory group at the library. Okay. Um, they'd like to do a clean up, green up at Morgan Memorial Library. Clean up, up, I like that. Yeah, yeah. they approached. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Like uh, they huh? approached <laughs> the commission for some money. Okay. Um, and the commission was happily. Uh, happily oh, so you guys do yeah. kind of that, that type of stuff as well. Yeah, okay. they have a fund, um, and the the, uh, the teenage um, advisory group approached the commission and asked for some money to help them with cleaning up, greening up the Morgan Memorial Library. Oh, that'd be um, great. So yeah. as part of that, they're going to paint their dumpster. Um, they're oh. going to clean up the grounds. They're going to plant some new shrubs. Okay. Um, they're going to put in a cigarette receptacle because they have a lot of cigarette butts in their car park. Um, and, and, and that's huge. The yeah, the cigarette. All yeah, the, the butts is yeah. still number one number piece one of Number one letter. Trash. Is it really? Yeah, okay. Still, um, it was an ongoing battle. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, yeah. In fact, Keep Suffolk Beautiful recently got an award from Keep America Beautiful. Oh, great. For their cigarette litter really? prevention right, campaign. Talk about that a little bit. Yep. We well, I wasn't actually involved. Okay. Well, my predecessors were. But yeah. Kathy was what there. we did is um, we took a, an area of downtown Suffolk. Mm -hmm and we literally counted cigarette butts mm. pre, before we had the, the receptacles, and then post. Okay. And we, we put the receptacles in and we're maintaining those receptacles. Uh, people just don't realize that those filters on cigarette butts are plastic. Mm. And that plastic again, with all the rain we yeah. have had this year, ends up goes into, into the water supply, goes into the nature, it, goes it, into... It's mm -hmm. not good. Yeah. And so we were very successful and now with the collection of cigarette butts and teaching a habit. We had people, what are y'all doing? You know, yeah. you count cigarette butts. But people that are that live, you know, there's condos upstairs or, or mm -hmm. apartment buildings upstairs in that area of downtown, and now they're realizing that, you know, no, this is something I shouldn't be doing. Yeah. And so now they're teaching a new habit, and now we have signage for it. Oh, great. And it's working really well. Awesome. And we won. We were recognized at Keep America Beautiful Conf Conference. We were, yeah. We, it was, again, that was a program that we did regionally through a Ask HR Green. Okay. So we were involved with Norfolk and Chesapeake and all the other areas around. Um, and we, um, as a group, installed... Uh, cigarette receptacles in our respective cities okay um, and we you know uh, measured the success of the campaign and there, there has been a, a, a big measurable difference success. Yeah, yeah I mean yeah, wow. in the areas where the cigarette receptacles now are okay um, the the amount of littering from that particular source has it's gone dropped. way down Excellent. yeah and that's why we got the award yeah um, and it was a good program a great program mm -hmm. yeah absolutely yeah was there anything else you guys like to add about the commission or about your events coming up um, no, just the recycle drive really yeah. is our main event coming up. Um, so that was April, April 16th, April 16th from 10 a.m. Okay. to 2 p.m. Yep. Um, if you've got nothing to recycle, again, the uh, food bank will be there if anybody's interested okay. in supporting. Um, Mosquito Control will also be there handing okay. out their dunks, and yep. they're completely free. Okay. Um, and as, as um, you know, mosquitoes are kind of in the um, in the headlines a lot these days Absolutely, with um, yeah. a lot of you know things going on around the world. So if anybody wants free mosquito dunks, they're available also, okay. or just to talk to the Mosquito Control, yeah. they're um, they're interesting people. If anyone wants to get involved with the cleanup in, or with the cleanup, their own group, contact Absolutely. either of contact you. Contact Litter Control, yeah. or right. Kathy at the Commission, right. and we will we will, you know we'll bend it, you know we will sort yeah um, sort out. Um, just remember, everything. every day's Earth Day. That's right. Yep. Just, just, yeah. just don't make it one month, one day. Yeah. It means every day. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. And thank you at home for joining us. And remember, Earth Day is not just a single day. It's year-round, so start making those healthy green habits right now. Thanks for joining us.